Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have another special guest for you. His name is Mr. Paul McFadden. He is an executive and lifestyle coach. He is here to talk about intelligent energy management. And since we all are just energy, let's see what he has to say. Take it away, Paul. Hey everyone, this is Paul McFadden, executive coach, brain-based coach, resilience coach, and lifestyle transformation coach. And I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about intelligent energy management through building stress resilience. So that sounds like a mouthful, so let's try to unpack that a little bit so we can have an understanding of what all that means. So intelligent energy management. So as human beings, I think we can all agree that as human beings, we are energy systems. You know, so we're, we are energy. And so we take in energy and we spend energy. So, so we say renew energy and deplete energy. And we do that all the time on a regular basis for so, you know, so many different ways that we, we, we spend and bring in energy. You know, when we talk about intelligent energy management, we're talking about our ability to spend and renew energy wisely so that we can get the most benefits from the energy that we're bringing into our system and what we're spending. So that's, so that's the high level explanation of what we mean by intelligent energy management. Because at the end of the day, you know, when you, when you put in a full day of work or you, you've done a whole lot of activity, you want to have more energy at the end of the day so that you can, you know, do more things, so that you can have more tolerance, so that you're able to greet your family um, differently, um, so that you are, you know, so that you're able to treat your, your family, your, your children, your significant other, your spouse, whoever is in your life, did better when you get home after that hard day of work. Um, maybe you want to wake up in the, in the morning with more energy. So, you know, we all want to have it. We want to have those benefits. So that's what we mean by intelligent energy management. Well, let's unpack this other thing. Building stress resilience. Well, building, that's easy. That means we have the capacity to add more resilience, right? We have the capacity to add more, so that's interesting. But let's look at stress. Stress is such a generic term. It's really interesting when you look at the statistics about stress. Stress, um, 75 to 90 percent of all um, primary care visits, according to the American Institute of Stress, is, is due, related to stress a, or, or inability to manage it. Um, the American Medical Association will say that 60% um, of, all of, our, all, of our disease, all of our diseases are rooted in stress. So that's a pretty alarming number when you think about that. So we have to change our, our understanding and our, and, our, and our languaging around stress. And then resilience. Well, what is resilience? Well, some people would say it's having grit, um, able to persevere, push through, bounce back. But I'm going to tell you that resilience is really about the ability or the capacity to prepare for, adapt in, and recover from challenge and adversity. So, so there's a whole process here. We're not just trying to bounce back in the moment or right after something happens, but to actually prepare for it so that we can respond differently. So what do you need to do? Well, one, you need to develop some awareness. And not just awareness around, you know, what resilience is or what intelligent energy management is, but let's start changing our language around stress. Let's talk about what it is, what it really is. And it's really about our emotions and how we respond to our emotions. What is your emotional soundtrack? And then after we understand that, let's understand the physiology of what's going on with, with, with stress. What's happening in our bodies, you know? And, and it is something that we're able to manage. And this gives some strategies on how to take control of this body, this energy system, whether it's your brain, whether it's your heart, whether it's your body. You know, let's, let's look at the entire system and figure out how to manage that with a few strategies. So if you want to learn more about that, you can go to my website. It's www.zeropointleadership.com. Um, again, you know, this is about how we more intelligently manage our energy and how we build the resilience, the capacity to be more resilient in times of challenge and adversity. Thanks.